Danny, I mean, they're, they're just so selective about when they do it. As you mentioned, you've been doing that since September uh, with a hiatus for the winter. But the, it's now July, so, you know, they've had at least six months of this stuff, and you're doing it every weekend. We see this all over the country. We yeah. had a uh, gun store owner who was essentially run out of his uh, position in the mall because they didn't want a gun store in the mall. When he opened up his new business, he had a guy dress up like a banana and put an AK-47 over his shoulder, and the police harassed him. Did it under the pretense that he was a distraction to traffic, and yet just down the street they had, of course, a Liberty Tax uh, uh, sign person. They they do that all over the country with that franchise. Have people dress up like the Statue of Liberty, and they hold oh, yeah. signs, they spin signs. Uh, mm -hmm. They do it under the pretense that somehow people who are holding signs that they don't approve of or who are doing things that they don't approve of, like opening a gun shop, somehow those people are a distraction to drivers that's deadly, even though we haven't had any incidents where that's happened, and yet people who are doing exactly the same thing, or all the signs, as you pointed out, there's business signs, there's billboards, there's road signs everywhere, and of course people can handle all those signs. What they can't handle is your particular sign that's uh, essentially exercising your First Amendment rights. Exactly, and I believe, for what I've been told, there is one of these kind of protests, an impeach Obama protest, held in every state across the nation, at least one. And throughout the whole nation, thousands of protests, not one person was ever in an accident or ever been injured from this type of protest. It's just never happened. So they were just... That's right. Just, we did have a lot of people that were doing it in Missouri that got harassed, harassed and several of them got arrested. And mm -hmm. we sent reporters up there right away because they were going to do it the next weekend. And, of course, the police stood down. It just goes to show how arbitrary this is. And people need to understand how this is expanding because it's not just there. It's also at places like the Bundy Ranch where they went in. And one of the first things the government bureaucrats did there was they created a First Amendment area. They even had a sign printed up in the middle of nowhere with a fence around it, said this is a First Amendment area. Somebody put a handwritten sign up and said, the First Amendment is not an area. And that's really the key thing. But they're doing it at political conventions as well. They've been doing it at presidential conventions for the last several presidential, uh, in 12, and it's also in 08. Both parties, they take all the people who want to exercise their First Amendment rights to petition about and to address their grievances in public. They send them down the road to a caged-in area and tell them, you have to stay here or we're going to arrest you. It's ridiculous. They're completely controlling your rights and yes. where you can do it, how you can do it. it it's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, people get afraid. People are afraid to do these things because they fear the police. And I don't know why, because you have every right. And then you have people like me where they're trying to set an example. And then now I have to go through the bureaucracy of the system and fight the courts and uh, challenge them. And Well, it's, I, it's we all really appreciate you standing up for your rights as well as for our rights. Mm -hmm. And you've got a crowdfunding source that's going up there. If people want to stand with you, tell us about that, how they can help. Um, you can go search www.gofundme.com forward slash impeach Obama. So it's www.gofundme.com forward slash impeach Obama. All donations go to attorney fees. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm just a college student, and I don't have a large income at all. And there's a link. There's a link to that in our article as well, talking about yes. you with the embedded video. There's several links to other mm -hmm. related articles as well as one to your GoFundMe account. Uh, so at this point, they've charged you with what? Disorderly conduct was originally what they charged me with, and it's what you hear on the video. Mm -hmm. Later at the precinct, they added on criminal nuisance, which is a Class B misdemeanor in New York State. Hmm. So <laughs> they said I, I was being a nuisance, and from what my lawyer said. This is what a nuisance is. A nuisance is, this is a good example. You're throwing bricks at a person, but you're not hitting them. You're throwing it near them. Is that anything what you did? Is it anything like what I did? No, it's not. It's a completely irrelevant, unrelated, and it was just a BS charge for people, for them to prosecute me. If I, they want to stop me. I thought it was interesting in your video, you were telling the police officer that, that you've had other officers come up in uniform and give you Snickers and Coke and that sort of thing. So this is not a universal thing. This is the arbitrary, capricious exercise of the law mm -hmm. with false charges that they're now building up in order to try, I guess, to get you to plea bargain down to something lesser. Exactly. And I'm not accepting a plea because then if I accept a plea, I'm pleading guilty. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm not willing to do that because I'm not guilty. I was well in my rights and I'm going to fight it. And if that if I have to go to trial, I'll go to trial. Good. So, and if you have to go to trial, do a fully informed jury. <laughs> do you oh, you need yes. to get involved with the fully informed jury people. They need to start uh, educating exactly. jurors in that area, not just for your case, but for all the different cases. And if they do it for a specific case, then they try to come after the people who are handing out stuff and saying that's jury tampering. They need to be educating people for all the cases. We need to stand up for our rights in every every possible way. And I really appreciate you doing this. So many people are just happy to do nothing except uh, get drunk on the 4th of July. You're exercising your rights. And here we are the day before. Uh, You're facing criminal charges because of that, but you're not going to back down. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate what you guys have been doing. And I've been listening to you guys since I was in eighth grade. So it was around 14. It's like 06. And you guys have just been growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger. And it's only going to get bigger. It's a snowball. Well, thank and, you so much, Danny. I, I really appreciate it, but it's it's really people who get interested in this and actually do something about it. And you got to stand firm, firm about this. If you don't use your rights, you're going to lose them. That's why we're losing our rights is because people are so apathetic about it. If they gave, if they cared anything at all about it, to do not even as much as you're doing, but just to stand up to the police and, and write letters and say, this is exactly. abusive, you know, and we see so many ways, not just in this, but in so many ways where the police are abusing people's rights and nothing is ever done about it. Thank you so much for doing this. We're going to follow this story, keep us informed as to what's going on and best luck with this trial. I hope you win. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Of course, as I mentioned in the interview, this is being done selectively in a number of different places. Houston did it against a gun store owner, but then not against other stores. We've seen this same type of protest on overpasses shut down violently in Missouri. Dallas is another example of this, and we had one of the city councilors there who voted against an ordinance that's set up to selectively shut down speech. Uh, This is a a counselor named Kenston. He said, in voting against this measure, he said, this is yet another situation in which the city of Dallas has a regulation, but no problem. This is an ordinance we don't need. No matter how carefully we craft it to make it content neutral, it's going to be perceived by people who want to protest as being against free speech. And it sure looks like that to me as well. And they point out in this blog, this is the Dallas Observer blog, they say that This indeed has been the case. They never hesitated in the past to use a 75-foot buffer to crack down on protests, even when it posed no danger to drivers on the highway. And they point back to two familiar instances. The George W. Bush Library that opened up there, and of course the people who were protesting that were not close to a highway. And also the Alex Jones protest with the InfoWars crew, where they were protesting the gag on free speech, on protests about the official story at the 50th anniversary of the assassination of JFK. In both of those cases, they used these ordinances when there was no threat to traffic, just a threat to the official narrative. Well, that's it for tonight. Join us on Prison Planet TV tomorrow night for a special edition of the Nightly News. We have a roundtable format that is pre-recorded, but it is new original material. So that'll be tomorrow night at the usual time, 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. A child in Arizona now has sexual misconduct on his permanent record for dropping his pants on the playground. The five-year-old was ushered into the assistant principal's office where he signed a statement without his parents present. No one explained to the boy that he could have asked for the counsel of his mother. In Oklahoma, a three-year-old was fined over $2,000 for urinating in his own yard. Obviously, the boy's mother was upset and after much public outcry, the charge was dropped and the officer fired. Both of the previous examples are completely harmless, childish behavior. But why should these children be punished for supposed sexual or deviant behavior when that's what they're being taught in school? We've seen reports that the United Nations is supportive of teaching five-year-olds to masturbate. The UN claims their curriculum is age-appropriate. Possibly following the UN's lead, the city of Chicago is eager to teach their children about sex. CPS insists their teachings meet the national sexuality education standards. I, I ran against Alan Keyes. I don't know if you guys remember Alan Keyes. But I, I remember him uh, using this in, a camp, in his campaign against me saying, Barack Obama supports uh, teaching sex education to kindergartners. And, you know, which 
I didn't know what to tell him. Um, <laughs> but, but it's the right thing to do. It should be stressed that if some guy in a park showed a child a picture of a penis, even an animated one, he'd likely go to jail. But if the child is exposed to such material in school, even without the parent's consent, that's considered fine. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Blocket Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. Or take back your privacy and protect your personal information by getting your very own Detractor cell phone pouch. So get incredibly high quality freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.